Hey fellow expeditionists, we're backpacking at the Troll Sea theme wilderness. Be sure to smash the like button and give us a subscribe. Alright, it is Saturday morning. We uh, parked here in the Dean Wilderness at the Grub Ridge Trailhead. We're heading out towards the Peninsula Trail. And believe it or not, we have never hiked out to the Peninsula. You know, the Peninsula is probably the most popular backpacking destination in all of Indiana. And that right there is exactly why we've never done it. As you know, we typically like to find our spots away from everybody else. And uh, right now is probably the worst time to attempt that on the peninsula because it is the weekend. And as we all know, these places are very, very busy this year. So the Dean Wilderness, of course, is a fairly young forest. Less than 100 years probably because of all the logging that happened in the late 1800s, early 1900s, as these ridge tops were all farmed at that point. And as you see, the forest around us right now is a lot of conifer trees, lots of pine. That was all planted by the Forest Service when they bought up the land from the original farming owners. And they used all these pine to uh, stop the erosion. I said that we are heading towards the peninsula. However, I did not say we're camping on the peninsula. As mentioned before, we like our serenity. And I don't think we want to find a whole lot of quiet and serenity on the peninsula. So we're heading off of the Grub Ridge Trail. And there's a little bit of a trail here going towards the lake, downhill. And we are going to go down and see if there's anywhere not already occupied for a decent camp. You're climbing down quite a bit further than I realized. But once you're already on the way, there's no reason to stop and go back, right, Catfish? Nope. We've uh, pretty much leveled out now. I bet we dropped a couple hundred feet there, didn't we, Catfish? Yeah, we did. So the upper ridge on Grub Ridge is about somewhere around 820 feet elevation. Uh, yeah, I'm. You can see water through the leaves. Well, we thought we would have found the uh, perfect spot. But of course, being as busy as it is, there was already some hammocks hung there. So, we keep on. A nice thing, at least here in the wilderness, is you can't really get lost. On the one side, you've got the lake. On the other side, you've got the hill. Get to the top of that hill and you're on the trail. And everything in between, we can just explore. And there's even more people out here than I thought. A nice big group camping here. See, it's not just uh, backpackers camping out here. We've also got canoers and kayakers and such that come from other areas and pull up on the shoreline and pitch a tent. So, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not looking good for us right now, finding a place that is uh, kind of to ourselves and any kind of serenity. Well, there's some uh, campers over there, kayak campers. But there's sites all through right here. So we may go ahead and just take one. Uh, might just have to deal with some neighbors tonight. Hope they're not too loud. But uh, <laughs> look at the view. Well, you all think we're crazy, but uh, even with this great view, we sat down, had lunch, we kind of got bored. So I don't think we're going to camp here, set up camp. I think we're going to take off and just keep going on the trail and uh, see how much time we've got and where it leads us. All right, we uh, made it uphill, climbed back out to the top of the ridge, and we're now we were on the actual peninsula trail 
but uh, I don't think we're going to bother with it. Um, as we've already seen, there's lots of people out in the, all the campsites lakeside, whether it's backpackers or uh, kayakers, either way, pretty much all the spots are taken. And if they're taken in the less known spots, you know they're going to be taken up out on the main peninsula. So we're not even going to bother. We are going to backtrack a little bit, get back on Grub Bridge Trail, and head a bit west and see what we find. Something smells kind of funky out here. Probably skunk ape. There might be some skunk ape tracks in that. I like this tree over here. Well, so far, other than the views of the lake we had earlier, about the only exciting thing out here in the forest has been all the varieties of fungi, all the different shapes and colors of mushrooms and such. That's pretty much it. Otherwise, Charles D. Moldenus is pretty much just a walk through any woods here in Indiana. The fact is, Catfish and I have gotten pretty spoiled in our adventures in places outside of Indiana. So this Indiana landscape just wasn't all that exciting on this day, with almost no wildlife to be found either. We needed to find something to make this adventure a little more adventurous. This is not an official trail. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. You know, catfish, I've hardly seen any kind of wildlife out here hiking. No deer, no raccoon, no possum, not even any squirrels or chipmunk. Could it be because there is a larger predator in these woods? Could it be Sam Squatch? That there is an entryway to a subterranean cavern. You think Bigfoot could fit in there? I'd say it's close, but maybe if he was young. Hmm. Maybe there's another entryway for him. I think this here is probably a Sasquatch sacrificial stone. We don't want to be here when he comes back. Mm -hmm. Well. If that is the layer of Bigfoot, at least we've got safety in numbers. All right, about to enter Patton Cave, otherwise known as Sam Squatch Territory. Feels good in here, don't it? Yeah. You know, we can take our packs off and go a little bit further if you want.
see that. Sam Squatch is in there. He's crawled through, hasn't he? Yep. That's neat. Yeah, it is. Cave up in there, too. I don't think I'm going to crawl in that one. All right, well, no signs of Sam Squatch this time. Plenty of rednecks, though. Well, we finally found us some kind of wildlife out here in the Dean Wilderness. Got us a little pretty good sized garter snake. He's just sitting there. He's going to start slithering away as I get closer. He's pretty fast. <laughs> Well, folks, I am beat. Today's little adventure so far has is, is kind of wore me out a little bit, going up and down the hills over there by the lake and everything else. But Catfish, what have you thought about our adventure today? The lake was pretty nice. There were lots of cool fungi along the trail. The cave was cool. Had some salamanders in it, didn't it? That was neat. That was really neat. And we saw a garter snake. Yep, I got to see a little bit of wildlife out here, huh? Yep. Not a whole lot of wildlife. Um, but yeah, going down and seeing the lake, of course the lake is always beautiful. Got to see a heron flying over it and all. And, and then of course the cave was just really neat. I've always wanted to get out here and see Patton Cave. Never made it until today. Um, so yeah, it was really cool, really good day adventure here today. But uh, I'm kind of wasted, so we found this uh, official campsite here at the Dean Wilderness, and I think we're just going to take it while we're here and call it a day. So, don't know what our plans are for tomorrow yet, but just in case, get out of nature and live the adventure. Until then, peace, peace out. out.